What's up everybody? Taiwan is moving here. I'm Niall. I'm <laughs> Jane. Uh, today we are talking about something near and dear to my heart, which is soup dumpling xiaolongbao. And what are the top five soup mm -hmm. dumpling spots in Taipei? Mm -hmm. My favorite food? My favorite food too. I think both of our favorite foods. So mm -hmm. we're kind of experts on it. Well, I'm I, I, <laughs> expert on it as, as anything else I could be, honestly, because okay. I've had a lot a lot of soup dumplings in Taiwan. True, true. So how, how are we judging? What are the best mm -hmm. soup dumplings? We got the wrapper, mm -hmm. soup, and the filling. Mm -hmm. Three main things. We're not gonna talk about price uh, because you know most people watching this video are probably tourists and they want to, just, they don't care about price, yeah, they just wanna have the to best. Yeah, willing to spend. <laughs> so like for a wrapper, uh, you don't want it so thin that it breaks. Uh, you want it thin enough where like uh, the ideal thickness is where you can actually see the soup inside the dumpling and definitely definitely the cardinal sin do not want it so thick mm -hmm. all I can taste is dough that's gross don't do that uh-huh soup soup is really important for me soup, soup so, <laughs> yeah. so it's both the quality and quantity so quantity wise you know I want it to be enough soup just not like not a few drops yeah yeah I want to be able to like stand alone it can you can drink the soup by itself and quality wise uh, I want it to be thick really rich flavorful so it that would matter um, whether they have a good broth filling should be like fresh pork uh, shouldn't be like have a bunch of filler ingredients like pepper, pepper and, yeah and really like strong peppery taste. yeah I should be able to taste the pork should also uh -huh. be able to stand on its own as in like mm. a good dish and yeah. So we are gonna have a uh, top five. Yeah, top five. Each. I'm gonna rate my top, top five, five. My top five, yeah. Uh, and then we'll see <laughs> see how they compare them. Yeah, I'm really curious, you know, as a foreigner's perspective, what constitutes a good soup dumpling and should it be different from mine as a local? I'm, I think most people watching this are curious, uh, where does Ding Tai Fung fall, right? Because when people come to Taiwan, they want Ding Tai Fung, right? Mm -hmm. That's the ones they know about. I'm really curious where it's going to land on your list. I think <laughs> yes. I know where it's going to land on my list. I bet you don't. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned and check it out. Let's go have some soup dumplings, all right? First off, we visited probably the world's most famous Xiaolongbao franchise in one of the world's most famous buildings, Ding Tai Fung, in the basement of the iconic Taipei 101. Din Tai Fung is well known in the business for the uniformity of its Xiaolongbao as each one has precisely 18 folds. So good. So good. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's reason why it's on the list. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, well, Ding Tai Fung is like, uh, other places are known for their Xiaolongbao, but Ding Tai Fung is Everything on the menu is actually pretty good. Uh -huh. I, I, I do think they do one thing maybe better than anybody else does, and that's the wrapper. The, uh -huh. Yeah, because the wrapper is super important. Maybe maybe the most important and the most difficult thing. That's why you always see like the, the, the clear windows where you can watch them make it. Yeah, it has to be like thin enough so it's translucent. You can see the meat. Yeah, yeah. And, then and the soup. Yeah, yeah, and it's hard to like if you get too thin that it breaks easily. So you want that either. So it's just right. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Real skill. And, and the 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 so the the wrapper is good. The filling is good. The soup is good. So that's oh, can that's I say what, something? Yeah, I love the service here. Oh, gosh. service is really good. Uh, you're you know, saying this because we went to another <laughs> place where the service was really bad, and it was also a salon bao place. Uh -huh. Did not make the list. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the service here is outstanding. Like mm -hmm. they. Yeah, they finish your sentences basically. If they know what you're gonna ask before you ask it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So it's really, really good. Very good. Very Solid. Good. Solid. All right. Next. <laughs> next. Up next, in our quest to find the best Xiaolong Bao, we visited Gaoji, which is right around the corner from the first Ding Tai Fung on the famous foodie mecca of Yongkong Street. While they might be better known for its Shanghai pan-fried buns, its Xiaolong Bao are also on point. All right. So actually, it was better than I remember it. Now, th this place is, is known for its uh, sheng jian bao, its pan fried mm -hmm. buns, but man, don't sleep on the xiao long bao. They're so good. What was your favorite like part? First time for me to have xiao long bao here because like you said, I always like had sheng jian bao, yeah. not xiao long bao, right? Yeah, not yeah, the yeah. soup dumpling. So it was first time for me and it was amazing. I love it. Yeah, I think it was the soup. Well, for me, it was the soup. filling. I think yeah. it's probably some of the best filling of our top five. But I got a 
tell you about the soup. Oh my god. The soup, it was like so rich. Not only it was like a lot, a whole so spoonful. Much. So much. And it was really sticky, like high in collagen or something. And then also they put oh, in yeah. like soy sauce maybe into the um the the, the broth. So it's like yeah, super yeah, yeah. rich, flavorful, it's like so good. And, and, and like me, I eat mine mine whole. There's so much soup I almost I almost choke because like this filled my mouth. Yeah, it's a uh, really, really good here. I think so probably, good. and the wrapper also fine, yes. just fine. Not yes. as pretty as Ding Tai Fung, but it doesn't have to be pretty if it's in my mouth. I can't taste, I can't see how pretty it is when I'm chewing on it. Amazing, really, really good. I would definitely come back here just for that soup. Yeah, yeah. All right, check out the next one, right? Up next, just a few minutes walk away from Yongkang Street and adjacent to Chiang Kai-shek Park is Hangzhou Xiaolong Kang Bao, a favorite spot for both locals and tourists. It's been around for many years and even as other places have come and gone, people always return here for good dumplings. So Hangzhou Dao. Hangzhou, yeah, what do you think? Uh, well, I mean, I, I have a soft spot for it since it's probably the Shalong Bob eaten the most. Uh -huh. Eat more soup dumplings there than anywhere else on the planet. Uh, so I have a soft spot for it. I, <laughs> I it's see. always, always solid. Always yeah, solid. yeah, you will never disappoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Take your friends here. Mm -hmm. Coming for your first time ever. Uh, it's, it's always really good. The good skin, good wrapper, good soup. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, weird thing, the best ginger of all of them. If that's a thing for you. It's, it's. I love, I love ginger. I put. You probably saw I put tons on it. But then the soup wasn't as much as I liked it to be. No. Oh, not as volume, amount of volume. In, in terms of volume, uh, yeah. But I, the filling was good. The filling, it's like really aromatic. And, what would you say? Well, like for me, uh, I don't care as much how much it is, just how it tastes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the soup is really good. It's, it's salty enough for me. So. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Our quest continues practically next door with Shen Yuan, and although it sports a different vibe, its shallow bar are just as good. And if you've got room to spare in your stomach, also give their Lufa Gourd Soup dumplings a try. The interior here is cozy and charming. Alright, so we just finished with Shen Yuan, and mm. what do you think? Oh wow, I was surprised. The soup was very distinctive. So I will, yeah, it's wow. really different actually, yeah. like mm -hmm. a lot different than other places. Very, very different. And so I was suspecting if it was chicken soup and then later we got to talk to the yeah, owner yeah. and she said it was indeed chicken yeah, so you, soup. Yeah, you are it the soup so master. Good. You're the I soup know. master. I told you. <laughs> for, I mean, I'm going to be honest, but for me it's uh, not as salty as I like. Uh -huh. I, I, uh, yeah, you like stuff more yeah, saltier yeah, yeah. than I am here. Yeah, I used is that to, a foreigner thing? I, I, I'm, I'm pretty Western sure it is. Pretty sure it's a foreigner thing. Like <laughs> saltier things, sweeter, everything. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. so it was pretty, and the, the skin was really good though. Yeah, the wrapper. Very, very, wrap very um, thin, translucent. Yeah, yeah. You can see the meat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's really good. Lots of soup though, too. Lots of soup. A whole as much as Kalji. Oh, sure. Yes, as much as Kalji. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. As soon as you poured it out, I was like, oh, this it's like clear almost. Yeah, it's very, very light. Like no, there's no like uh, like fat floating on the top or anything like that. Yeah. Was there? No, but no. still it was like sticky aftertaste. So I think there's lots of collagen in it too. Oh. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Dian Shui Lo. Dian Shui Lo is a chain that regularly wins best Xiaolong Bao contests. The interior is a bit fancier than others on this list and is a great spot to meet up with clients or if you want to impress a date. You can also ask the staff for the bar seating, which is just feet away from where the dumplings are made, with no glass partition between you and the action. All right, so we just finished at Dian Shui Lo. Mm -hmm. uh, man. <laughs> it was just as good as I remember. It really, I, right? I, thought, I thought maybe after trying so many in like a week that it wouldn't be as good, but no, it's, uh -huh. it's still really, really and, good. And they had the wrapper was like the Absolutely. thinnest of all the places. The maybe. Thinnest. If, if I would knock one thing is that it's the wrapper is maybe a little too thin. We did break one and they have a tendency to stick to each other. Um, so be aware if you go there to, to kind of like take care. You wouldn't want to waste the soup. Yeah, but like yeah, outstanding. Again, awesome soup up mm -hmm. there with Gaoji, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. And, and the filling awesome filling, awesome filling uh -huh. and then awesome, awesome wrapper too. Uh -huh. so. Soup was great. Just 
I mean, there's a reason why it's won number one. You, you see that there's awards mm -hmm. all over the wall. The reason why. Uh, does, yeah, definitely does not disappoint. Not as expensive as I remember it either. For some reason, I thought it was expensive, but it's actually... Average. Average, yeah. Same as Ding Tai Fung. Yeah. Yeah. Last, but certainly not least, Zheng Hao is the smallest, least known, and trickiest to find on this list. Located right behind Tonghua Night Market, this tiny, nondescript shop pumps out some of the tastiest Xiaolong Bao in the country and still tops best of lists. Right, so we just finished at Zheng Hao, Xian Rou Bao. Mm -hmm. What did uh, you think? I mean, we went there because like it's top on some people's lists, you know, a lot of the lists that we checked out. And of course, you know, people, if we didn't go there, people in the comments would be like, oh, you didn't go to Zheng Rou Bao. Mm -hmm, so, uh, <laughs> I, I liked it. Mm -hmm. I don't know sure what's gonna land on my list, uh, but like starting with the wrapper was a little thick, a little uh, thick side. Yeah, on the thick side. But that, that's what you get with like <laughs> the right smaller though. places. Like, mm -hmm. you know, they don't have like a team of dudes in the back, you know, in an aquarium, you know, pressing out the, <laughs> pumping them out by the thousands. So what about the soup? The soup? Oh, it was okay. Um, I think what bothered me was like in this, you know, the whole, in a set, in a basket, Every dumpling had different amount yeah. of soup. Some was like full of it, and some was like, <laughs> like hey, did a few they drops. Did they forget? <laughs> uh -huh. But uh, for the ones who that had good amount, I like the soup. It has a really strong taste of scallion. Yeah, yeah that was different from all the other places. Speaking of scallions or green onions, uh, the filling, a lot of onions in there. I wasn't ready for that, and like no <laughs> other place. Not saying it's wrong, it's just but no other uh, Shalom Bao or uh, soup dumpling place that we've been to has mm -hmm. put that many, and I think there's leaks in there too. So honestly, I, uh, I, if it closed my eyes and there wasn't any soup, I'm like, I can't tell if I'm eating sweet chow uh, or, <laughs> oh. or uh, uh, steamed dumplings. I see. Well, for people who like the scallion taste, yeah, go there. Totally it's heaven for you. You like it. scallions, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it kind of seemed like a little bit of filler. What do you think? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, but it was good. I'd go back. I'd definitely go back. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go. Yeah, we're going to make that list. I think. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we're ready to start our list. Uh, before we start our list, I want to remind everybody to uh, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. If you like the content, that lets us know that you like what we're putting on. And we'll make more if you, if you, if you comment, if you like. Yeah, so let us know. Okay. It's our top five. <laughs> Shalom Bao for Taipei. Uh, Jean, ladies first. So, number five for me is. Hangzhou. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I know this is one of your favorite places. <laughs> I didn't say that. Where'd you get Sorry. that idea? You get Why? Okay, so. Tell me. It's, it's overall, it's nice. <laughs> um, but you know, it's still like not so consistent. Sometimes I feel like every dumpling is a little bit different so sometimes you get some soup sometimes it's you know the, the wrapping is thinner on this one thicker on I this one i respect but it, it's really good my, my number five is Shen what Yen. is that surprising it's definitely is definitely all right so the reason, the reason why i put sheng yuan <laughs> down here is because for me uh the soup was it's chicken soup apparently too bland yeah, I'll just say it. A little, little, the great filling, great wrapper, great atmosphere, good price. Just a little, little bland. Why? 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 Why would you? That's better for bland us. Bland is better. Yeah. Not for foreigners, I don't think. Okay, so for Taiwanese people, we like things that are not too salty because whatever we eat, it's more. Uh, we're always aware uh, of like how do you say it? Health. I tra I'll translate you. Uh, boring <laughs> is the word she's looking for here. No. Boring. No, no, because we are what we eat. Yeah, I'm salty. I'm salty about this <laughs> list you're making. <laughs> you're making me salty. All right, all right. So number four. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Ladies first. All right, number four is Bianchello. I'm surprised because this is another one of your most favorite. I think. No comment. <laughs> Um, um, okay, why? Why? Okay, yeah. Why is it so low? Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, why? Why do you? Why is it number four? Not that that's low for me. Dianshui Lo, it has its standard, so it's it's pretty up there for me already. Yeah. Yeah, it's very consistent. Um, except I didn't like how the fact that the wrapper was too thin that it started breaking. Oh yeah. So I like, will agree there. Like, well, we we that's had minus points. Yeah, a basket and then two or three bro. Yes, actually. Uh, like we we eat a lot of xiao long bao because it's both our favorite food. Um, every time we go to Dian Shui Lo, uh, the, the baos are touching each other. 
and we always break one and that's like a sin it's a party foul it's like spilling a beer <laughs> don't don't put them on top of you 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 you, you, you nail the the routine you got uh -huh, the quadruple uh -huh. backflip and then you messed up the dismount <laughs> Dance really low. Just, just don't put them on top of each other. That's not that hard, right? <laughs> Otherwise, it's pretty good. Otherwise, it's yeah. I, I, yeah. It, we hire my list too. I, I did dock points for that. All right, nine, All number right. four. You're number four. Ding Tai Feng. Ding Tai Feng. This is probably not surprising for you. Uh huh. Uh, I just because Ding Tai Feng is good. Uh, it's just I feel like other places do everything that they do better. Somebody has better. Maybe the, maybe the rapper is the best. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But. Uh, just, you know, other places do it better. Tin Tai Fung is good, already number four. That's pretty decent. It's actually not as expensive as I remember it. Um, and every, it's consistent. That's the one thing. You, you'll always get the exact same experience every time. Tin Tai Fung is gonna be the exact same every time. So if you're looking for a consistent experience, that I agree with that's you. the one to go with. I agree with right, you. I agree with good. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry. Too late. <laughs> all right, all right. Number three. Um, number three for me. Okay. okay, yeah, that's what you were talking about, consistency. But um, for me, I think it's just a, it, it's very consistent. It's just the base for comparing everything else. It's so consistent, yeah. so. Right um, in the middle of your list. Right, yeah, there, it, nothing stands out then, you know, it's feature. I think it's service, just, but yeah, that's, service. that's not a rapper. I mean, that's not a, that's, I mean, service, but service is not a shadow ball. It's like, you can't eat service. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So overall, it's like in all categories, it's, very good, very good. But it just there's nothing that would pop out. Uh, number three for me, Gaoji. <laughs> now see, Gaoji. We only went to Gaoji because uh, other places sucked on the list, and we're like, oh, let's go try this because I love all their other food, and they blew me away. The fact that they're even on this list for me is is crazy because mm. I never would have thought that Gaoji would just actually phenomenal. I want to put them up higher, but you'll see. Well, you are probably have an idea what's on my list now, right? <laughs> Wait, let me. Gaoji is pretty. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yeah, Gaoji is really good. I, I'm, I'm really actually. They gotta be one of your top two. Gaoji's gotta be up because she. Yeah, I you know them. me so well. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so what's your number two? my number two, therefore, is Gaoji. Gaoji, what's your number one? <laughs> number two, because I love so much the soup. You know, I'm all about the soup, uh -huh. and they have like it's really lots. A whole spoonful yeah, of, tons soup. of soup. So at Gaoji, the soup is super thick. Yeah. Lots of soup. Yeah. And it's like I feel like I'm taking intake a lot of collagen. So I, I feel good oh, that good eating for your skin it. or something, right? Good for skin, especially Health. for girls. We're Boring. like the filling is great, the soup is great, the wrappers were great. It, it's just good. and it has its own unique it's unique too actually. The taste is, is different than other Shalom Bao, but good. Uh-huh. Oh my, my my number two. Your number two. There's way low. Yeah. Really low because for the reasons we already Boring. mentioned. Boring. <laughs> oh, it's, well, you yeah, number four. I know. It's still on your list, but Dance Way Low is uh, the reason why it was not number one is because of the rapper. The rapper is kind of unforgivable. I because I love them so much, I don't want any of them to be spoiled, you know. And that one, uh, I'll, I'll lay over the the footage right now. You can see me struggling <laughs> with the rapper. I can't quite get it. And I'm like, oh my god, I cannot. It's like it's like performing surgery. You play operation when you're a kid. You're trying to separate the hand bone. It, it, it's but ridiculous. It's still number two. Because I'm willing to overlook that because of how good they taste. All right, so oh number, number one, one. Wait, 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 number one, we're gonna do at the same time. All right, all right. Ready? Okay, ready. One, two, go. go. Song Yue. What? How are they? <laughs> They're exact opposites. What? <laughs> oh my god. Wait. We're exactly the opposite. You know what? I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna you, guess why you, you, yours is. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna be Jane for a second because the soup was so uh, you don't understand. boring and bland no, no. and okay. so healthy. Okay, let me recap. The soup was chicken soup, okay? Chicken soup. I just really appreciate um, when I see like uh, they put a lot of effort. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. so it's it's a long, lengthy process and I appreciate that. Uh, we. For us Taiwanese, we always eat on the healthy side of everything. So it's that's like, true. yeah, consciously we choose you know, things like, uh, that, fried chicken, that benefits uh, um, Fried physically. taro balls, uh, fried squid, fried... Yeah, it's Taiwanese so healthy. <laughs> but you're not going to Shao Long Bao for, you know, normally for, for healthy. I and mean, if you can get it, that, that's that's obviously a bonus point. Cool. Uh, Hangzhou, just because, meh, like my sweetheart pick. I, you know, it's not. It wasn't the first I ever had. The first I ever had in, in Taiwan was the Tai Feng. Then Hangzhou Xiaolong Tanbao was probably the second one, and I ha I've had that more than any other. And 
it's just always so good. I have a lot of good memories there. That's, see? That's wrong. You're weighing on good memories. But I can't separate them. No! See, don't, don't, don't mind his list. It's all wrong. <laughs> but this is like, it's just she's because, like, oh, now it's fine, yeah. right? <laughs> wait, it's is just, it? Wait, is it? It's almost, right? So, yeah. It's high fun, Oh, it's really close. <gasps> it is? Oh my god, really? No, look, there's only one difference. Oh, oh my god. We're the exact opposite. That's surprising. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for checking out our video. Uh, we hope that you liked it. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, check out the next one. Be sure to check out. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, really be sure good. to check out Hangzhou. Hangzhou, if you're new to Taiwan. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.